والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيد محمد في الأولين وصل وسلم وبارك عليه في كل وقت وحين يا رب في كل وقت وحين يا رب في كل وقت وحين آمين يا رب يا إخواننا سبحان الله tonight is truly a blessed and beautiful night it is a night of hearts being brought together it is a night of souls being greeted together it is a night in which we take the opportunity to pay our respects to the soul of Habib Noah. It's a very special place. MashaAllah, I was told the story of how these highways, they were built around the maqam of Habib Noah because SubhanAllah, there was no way that it could go through the maqam of Habib Noah. Yeah, SubhanAllah. This is a beautiful place and you're here with beautiful people, Alhamdulillah. I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I'm one of those who are blessed to be with them. Alhamdulillah. The Mashayikh that you see and the blessed people that are around you. We were taught by our teachers to treat every single person as though he was one of the awliya, as though she was one of the awliya. Because even in wilaya there are going to be different levels, but that we have that adab with all of our people, with everybody who has even the slightest bit that they've taught us. Alhamdulillah. Because that was the practice of our Prophet Sallallahu that he taught us that in order to fulfill your duty, your amana, that you have to be mercy. You have to be the embodiment of that mercy. MashaAllah, we've, we've known many people in our lives that talk a lot about the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu They talk about certain outward aspects of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu But the essence of the Prophet Sallallahu sunnah is very simple. I mentioned this when Habib Hassan asked me to speak a few days ago. It is Rahmah. It is the embodiment of mercy. So you can try to practice the Sunnah in so many different ways, in clothing or in other actions. But if you don't have, if you don't have that mercy in your heart, then there will be no light in what you do. It is about mercy. My brothers and my sisters, it is about mercy. That's who Habib Noah was. That is the secret of the awliya. That is why we come. This is why we beseech Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us more like them. Because they embody that pure and un un unadulterated sunnah. That sunnah of mercy. This whole region, mashallah, it's one of the most populous regions of Muslims around the world. And why is that? It's not because there was some army that came here with the sword. It's not because somebody came and forced the people to embrace this religion. It's not because even that Muslims came with any power whatsoever, because they didn't. We know they came to the, the, the hearts of Wali Songo, of only a few people. And they didn't come with great wealth. They didn't come with great monies and financial uh, wealth. They came with another wealth, the wealth of light in the hearts, the wealth of mercy in their souls. So that when people looked at them, they said they saw a light, and it was that light that attracted them. One of our teachers told us that the, the hearts of all of the Muslims, that they reflect the light of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But here's the problem, that our hearts, they need to be polished. That they're full of dust and rust and muff that we need to work in order to remove, in order to take away that type of, uh, of, of rust. And we were taught that for everything there's a polish, and the polish of the heart is dhikr. And dhikr comes in many different types. Tonight we're doing dhikr by remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and one of his most blessed servants. Dedicate yourself to that sort of pursuit. Because our teachers told us that if our hearts were clean, then the light would shine forth. And one of them said, if our, all of our hearts were so clean, then the entire world would embrace the light of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, except for a very, 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 very few. That the most debilitating obstacle in the way of that is the Muslims. 
that their hearts, they haven't purified them as much as they should because they hold this great amana, they hold this light of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And who was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? I'll finish on this. Who was he when it came to, to his hearts? You know, subhanAllah, we all know of the story that when uh, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that he was younger, that the, the angel came and plucked his heart from his chest. And there was a little bit of black. There was a tiny speck of black. We know this story. And we know that the angel cleaned it and then put it back into the chest of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the ulama, they asked the question, where did this, uh, where did this black come from? Pay attention to this because it's, it's a great lesson from our teachers. Where did this black come from? And some of them said that it's the, the waswasa that every uh, person has from shaitan. That it's the waswasa. And then some of the ulama said, they said, this, is, this doesn't make any sense because we know that when Sayyidina Omar walks down a road, that shaitan will take another road. Well, this is for Sayyidina Omar. What would it be like for Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? So some of the ulama, they said, no, this isn't the case. It doesn't make any sense. That there's another explanation that reveals Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That because he is rahmah, for all the worlds, that he has rahmah for even shaitan. And that if this dot had not been removed from his heart, and that's what the dot represents, that if the dot was not removed from his heart, then on Yom Al-Qiyamah, he, he might try to ask for intercession for shaitan. That's the purity of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he was so full of mercy, so full of mercy, and if we would be his followers, if we would truly be followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, then remember this key message, that he was rahmah to all the worlds. He wasn't rahmah to the Muslims, he wasn't rahmah to the non-Muslims, he was mercy to everyone and everything. May Allah make us uh, such individuals and groups of people that we are mercy to the people. May, he, may we be even something small of the mercy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam but may we be those who follow and embody his message of mercy to all the worlds to everything, to every human being, to our families, to our friends, to the animals, to the plants, to the environment and everything in this world that is created may we be examples of that and may it be that even one person remembers that that was what we stood for when, we're t when our time has come because all of our time will come all of our time will come Make it so that while your time is on this world, your time in this world is very short. It's very, very short. I asked you all to make dua for my mother. She passed away a few months ago. I remembered so clearly how short life was when she passed from this world. May Allah grant her husn al-Khatima. I was there. Rabbina Shahid. Husn al-Khatima. Ya Allah. May we all end with the husn al-Khatima. May we all end with the best of ends. Ya Rabb. May we all go with the last words being La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu May Allah bless all of you May Allah bless Habib Hassan May Allah bless all of our mashayikh for teaching us so much May He grant us the ability to learn more from them and give us the more opportunity to spend time with them and to draw from them what lessons that we are able to learn and we will never give them their due. We will never give them the due that they are that they are uh, truly deserving of. But may we be, even in spite of our adab, maybe we be of those who are able to take from our teachers because they are they are the inheritors of our, of the prophets. May we let, may we all raise our hands in du'a and ask for Allah's blessing upon all of our mashayikh and all of our teachers and upon the soul of Habib Noah. And may He allow us to draw closer to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته